Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Scary Shit. I know we're not, you know, in the forest or anywhere else, but it's cold outside as fuck today. That's that's we gotta be honest. It's cold as fuck today. <laughs> we 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 don't want to get sick and shit. So yeah, it's like it's like summertime and it's like it's like fucking sixty degrees outside. And yeah, like today we woke up. It was it was nice and sunny, and then we we're like, you know what? Let's go do some scary shit today. <coughs> Damn, and as you can see, we're getting sick and like. Those got the dick in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's that ghost dick. But um, yeah. So we were supposed to go out today, but it started getting like fucking super fucking windy and cold all of a sudden. We're like, fuck it, we'll just do it in the studio. Like one that one time we did, we said we were never gonna do it again, but we're doing it again. <laughs> But fuck it, you know, it, the only thing that matters is that we're telling scary stories and scary videos. It's because, like, our studio is so beautiful. So, so I'm going to go first. This is a story. Well, no, actually, it's actually a video and a story. It goes together. He's <laughs> like, wait, wait, it's actually a video and a story. He's <laughs> like, you know what, let me, never mind, it's a story. But I want to ask you guys, have you guys ever experienced anything, like, paranormal or anything scary when you guys were babies or kids? Obviously, we're kids, so we don't remember, but has remember. anybody ever told you? Because I have a story that my mom told me when, we were, when me and Efren were kids that something happened to us. My dad actually told me that my little brother, Joshua, he used to have an imaginary friend. He told me that recently. What the fuck, for real? <laughs> <laughs> what, what did he used to say? He said that Joshua used to just um, be like in a room. And he was like, my dad used to come in a room and be like, try to talk to him. He'd be like, no, go away. And leave. And he'll, he'll, my dad. He'll wait till my dad actually left for him to start talking to his friend again. My mom told me recently that when I was a kid, when me and Efren were kids, I was like four, five maybe years old. I was young. And Efren was a, like a toddler. And she remembered just one time that me and Efren fell asleep on the couch. And me and Efren used to dress. Well, we never dressed. We just had a shirt. No shirt, only our diapers or underwear for me. Underwear and his diapers. My mom said that she laid us down on the couch, just laid us down. And she was home alone. And she, she left to go some, do something in the kitchen. And we were asleep. And all of a sudden, she felt she like felt weird or something. And she heard a noise in the other room. So she went to the other room. And she found me and Efren like, on the couch, wrapped up in blankets. Like, a, like, a, like burritos. Like, they wrapped us up in nice burritos and stuff. And she freaked out. She was like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't put these guys in blankets and shit. Yeah. And I remember she told me that story. And I was just like, oh, shit. Like. That's that's fucking creepy, and the reason I'm saying it because I saw a video on TikTok that there was this kid. He was just like, he was just like, talking to his mom like normal conversation. Her mom was recording, and all of a sudden, like he like like starts like wandering around in the house and sees like a room, a dark room, and he starts like pointing at the room and talking to someone in the room, and then the mom freaks out. Jeez. Jeez. What you doing? Yeah. What you see? Yeah, Baba. What? Baba. What you see? Hi. Uh uh. Who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You freaking me out. Come on. And supposedly Papa, whatever he said, is it, his grandpa that passed, that passed away. away. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that you seeing crazy. you're seeing shit like that. That's fucking crazy. Imagine I don't know if, if kids be, saw some shit like that. I'm like, I don't know if I'll be like, no, you didn't. <laughs> like scared or like start crying. Be like, <laughs> I, I, see I your grandpa uh, that just passed away. Your father and your son. See but him? it's a kid. I doubt he's gonna know. You know. Kids but I'm pretty, pretty sure he doesn't. That's he, what I'm saying. He can't, you be he can't comprehend. Or like be like emotional. I don't think you guys understand how like babies are pretty like pretty smart for their age. Like, as soon as, like, like if a baby say, says something that they saw, best believe that you, you got to believe them. Because where the fuck did they see it from? Like, they, they weren't watching TV. I'm pretty sure they weren't watching TV to be like, oh, I, like, I, I'm going to copy this. They're babies. They don't know how to copy shit. That's true. So That's true. If, if they say something like, oh, I saw, I saw this person in the room when nobody was there, you better believe somebody was there. Like a ghost. Because they know way, bro. Like a ghost ghost? Like a ghost ghost. And you know what's pretty, you know what's interesting? I always curious because you know how like kids see ghosts and all that type of shit? Yeah. I wonder what they see. Like what exactly do they see? Like a, like a demon, a figure, or they actually see their grandpa like in full, in full like spiritual mode. You get me? I hear, I hear like dogs and kids see shit. 
but like a like, good question. I, 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 if I had to imagine, I feel like they'll see a person, like an actual physical form, like no spirit, like probably not trans transparent. I feel like it's just like an actual person right there. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying because I remember I saw a movie called um, God is Real. Or it was a movie about God, and there's this kid who who was dying. I think it's like uh, his um, what's that shit called? Uh, kidneys or no, no, not kidneys. Appendix. Uh, your appendix. His appendix exploded, so he went to the hospital and he got like emergency surgery. And when he was uh, getting surgery, he went up to heaven and stuff, whatever. And when he came back down, ironically, his parents were pastors and stuff, right? He grew up in the church. And he said that he went to he went up to heaven and he saw Jesus and all that and he saw all his siblings and like you know it's his whole family relative right yeah. and he said that he saw his grandpa and then he and then his dad was like really like what he say and all this he said that he loved me and all this so how did he look and and he, like did he look like old and all this he was like no he's like nobody in heaven is old and then he, he like went into the like the attic and pulled out a picture of his dad you know when he was young. And he showed him, did he look like this? He was like, yeah, that's how he looked. So I'm thinking, like, if he saw his, like, grandpa, did he see him young or old? You know, that's, that's to me that always stuck around. What if it's like that in heaven? It's like that in heaven, right? They say, like, once you pass away, you, you don't die. It's not death. You have eternal life. Yeah, your spirit goes your to spirit heaven. Your spirit goes up to heaven. Yeah. And it doesn't mean, like, when you go up to heaven, do you get young? Like, there's no more pain. If you didn't know, if you, like had like a injured injured hip or anything you just yeah perfect yeah you're perfect you're young yeah. you know you're free and that's why i was like, like that's why i'm wondering like if kids see like 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 a relative you know yeah. like how do they see them like young or like spiritually like that like how Efren said he probably just sees them like like a person person you know but we we also got to know that when you see the, uh, somewhat of like when you see like a relative or somebody that you know here in the world that's not. That's not your. That's not the person that you saw. That's what like, I'm saying. Like, it's it's it's. it's is a it demon. a ghost trying to be a demon? Yeah, trying to be it is, it is. someone that's what that it you is. know? That's exactly what it trying is. Trying to like lure you in, right? Yeah, that's what it is. It's it's basically a, a, a demon, uh, like trying to manipulate you and trying to confuse you into thinking that it's a it's a good spirit and somebody that you know, so they can get comfortable with you, and trying to you know lure you in, and just accept, like have you accept him, as who that is. So you start getting to know it, and you start like asking questions, start talking to it, and that's what a demon wants you to do, right? Am I right? A demon yeah. wants yeah, you to, yeah. to uh, interact with it. A demon wants you to start welcome asking it, a welcome question, it. welcome, welcome it to it your again. life. And so it uses the highest form of manipulation, and it uses like the weakest part of your life. Maybe you lost a father, you know, it's gonna use your father. If you lost a mother, it's gonna use your mother. If you lost your daughter, it's gonna use you're gonna see a little girl and see your daughter. So that's the kid, so the kids are seeing ghosts. They yeah. are seeing ghosts. That's why. That's why. That's why it's like it's like I heavily like like I I just like how do you say warn people not to interact with things that you think that it's your like a relative or somebody that you think you know because either sad like either they're in heaven or sadly in hell. All right, like they're it's one of those two. They can't be in the world. There's no they're in so, between. There's, there's no in between. There's a heaven and hell, and the, like, your body's gonna, your soul's gonna go somewhere else. If they stay here, then that's not, that's not, that's not a soul. That's a demon. So they, so that kid saw a demon then. Uh huh. That basically. wasn't his grandpa, basically. You know, it's crazy. Our, I told the story before on the podcast that our nephew he saw uh, something in the bathroom one time when he was young, like not young, but like maybe two years ago, and he said that he went to the restroom and he saw like a dark figure in the like in the tub, and he scared the shit out of him, like he was crying. And I feel bad. Like, I, I feel bad when kids see shit like that. Like, uh, it's just sad. What would you do, if, like, at your age, you, like, you've seen something? Like, you figure. Like, like right that. now? Like, this age? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'll, how would you react? Like, like, I'll, be, like key, I'll be traumatized. Like, if you saw what they see, but, like, in your age right now. In your age right now. And not, like, not like a kid or anything. Like, right now, at the age of 22. I'm going to be like, like, you're like, fuck. Papa. I'll start praying, bro. <laughs> I have this one video, which is really fucking cool. Well, kind of scary and cool. Oh. She got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. Is that Whoa. a hand? Bro, like, what are kids doing in the middle of the highway like that? Nah, that's... And she she looked like she dressed like from the sixties. 
or like the 1800s. How the fuck can you tell that, bro? What the <laughs> like, fuck? look. Shut the fuck up. He's making nonsense now, bro. That shit makes no sense. It's, Especially it, got white on. It's all white, motherfucker. <laughs> That's what they fucking see. wear back in the day. They all wear white? all I, white dress. I don't see any clothes, bro. I just <laughs> think said, it's a pale fucking figure. See, like, all white figure. said 1600s. Like, I think it's, I, I I was, think it's the 1800s. <laughs> I wanted to put like a background story to it. My bad, guys. I can't fucking tell. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I, I, all I can tell is it has no face, weird looking hand. Long hair and ho the whole body is either white or it's wearing all white with brown hair. Yeah, it looks like blonde hair. Blue shoes. Around. But, but blue what, shoes. what is she what doing? What is she? Blue is she shoes. What's she doing? Is she digging or something? I don't know. She looks like she's like on the. She thinks she's like digging Look, where her body's at. She looks like a. Or where she died. You know that you know the game Left 4 Dead. You know the witch. The witch. Oh yeah. It's, it's sitting like that. It looks like that. What well, doesn't look like that? But it's all white. That's what's weird about it. But the real question is, like, would you guys stop to help her out? Or would you guys no. will keep going? I'll wave at it back. <laughs> 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 you know, it's a, it's a trailer to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, nah, bro. I would have waved at it. Would you wave at it? Hi? No, that's the real question. Would nah. you wave back? Would you wave back? That's the real question. Nah, I feel like if I wave back, she'll probably curse the fuck out of me. What if I'm like... Now, have you ever seen those videos where like <clears throat> people are driving and then they see there's something in the road and they drive past by it and when they look in the rear view it's like in the back seat? Have you mm. seen those videos? Yeah, like that's like no, a, I haven't. That's what like if a, like that like, like happened? Scary shit movie. What if that like happened? Like he seen the girl and he looked back to see and she's like right there. My real question Ooh. is: Is it a real yeah. person? Like, is it a person or is it like a ghost? It's too physical to be a a ghost. Yeah, like it, it doesn't look. It looks like an actual like, you think like just, physical you person. You, you think a girl just playing on the side of though? the road? Do you see that also right there? The black figure. It looks like um a shadow. Do you see that? A shadow. Oh shit! Yeah, it is like a, like a like a like, like a figure, figure holding her. Oh man, this is. You think it's her dem demonic spirit? There's like more right here. I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah, that's that's a good story, but that's a good video. Yeah. But my, I don't know. I, I, me personally, I wouldn't stop. You guys see that there's an orb in, in one of our scary shit videos? What? It was actually pretty crazy when I saw it. I was like, because you, you guys believe in orbs? I feel like orbs is a, a bunch of bullshit. You know, I, maybe I don't know like what that is. I don't know what orbs are. Like, what's like the definition white, of orbs? I, I know orbs are like the white fig, like the white things. But what is it like? Is it like a like a spiritual thing in the circle or what? It's a, it's basically a sp an orb is basically a spirit, a lost spirit. So like if you see a light like passing by, I always always see like if I see that I'm like oh it's a fucking bug, it's it's some like it's not a it's not a it's not or a like a fly thing. or something. It's a fly or like a little like a you know light source or like fucking you know it's, it's something. But when I saw this in the video, I was like hold on hold on. That looks too good. That looks like an actual orb, huh? That looks like really fucking like it's it's questionable. Check it out. Alright, let me see. Oh that? shit! That's not an orb, bro. That's not an orb. What is nah, that? Nah, that's, that's not an orb. That's a, that's a, spirit, a shadow. My boy. That's a spirit. That looks a fucking orb is like weird, a little huh? thing. Yeah, that's a whole thing Somebody, going around the camera. People are saying orb. People are saying ghost. That's fucking. It's too. It's moving too fucking weird, right? It, that's it's moving look. It's weird. moving like it's like. It's moving. Weird. Going like this, no, like bro, really slow. Just, it might be mist, but mist is like no, bro. a whole thing. But that's just like one if, circle. If you see the video, it comes from above. And then it goes across. <laughs> Look at I was pretty shocked. I Look. Was, it right goes there, down. There. Then it goes across. That's not a bug. Nah, either. bro. That's, that's not a bug. That's a ghost. That's a shadow. That's Sal, it, it, you're it, possessed. It. Sal, Sal. We're coming to your house right now. We're going to pray over you. <laughs> nah, you know what's crazy, too? It wasn't cold that day. So it can't be no mist, no fog. That it, day was warm as fuck. Even though Sal was wearing a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Eat, it Look. Comes, Look Bro, it, it comes down. Look, it Look, it goes down. It goes down, and it goes to the side. 
That's not light either. We Whoa. Don't have light. That I should look, look like it came out of Caesar. I don't know. <laughs> As we all know, we all grew up. I don't know if you guys grew up, but I grew up watching El Chavo del Ocho. Okay, yeah, I grew up watching yeah. it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I Mexican. Up, I grew up and watching This one's called Mexico's Biggest TV Mystery. I think I've seen it. Ooh, about this. hey, yeah. that, one's bad. Hey, that, one, that one seems pretty good. The cast in Chavo del Ocho, they said that every time they were filming, they felt like a presence was watching them. Like all the time, every episode, they felt some type of spirit. Like, around them looking at them doing stuff and there's been a lot of members from the the what is it the, the cast mm-hmm. the ones that were record yeah the, the, the crew members the crew members they said like the production team yeah the that. production team they said like they always felt like someone when they were like setting up for for the scenes they always felt like there's someone watching them like everyone that was in that show felt like there's a spirit or some type of someone just looking at them like a ghostly yeah you know, presence. Back when they when they were doing the last episode, when they were about to like announce it off air and everything, the the last season, on the, the last, last season, episode. a lot of the the people that are watching the show, they said that they used to see someone in the background of every episode watching them through a window. There's a fan that he put some video together, and this is what the what it showed. So I've never seen this. I'm like, I'm kind of creeped out now. It's pretty crazy. It's like one of the no, most like known television Mexican conspiracy theories. And, and all of, like, Latino America. Okay, let's dumb it down. It can either be a crew member who's unprofessional and look, keeps speaking. It can be a cast member waiting for XQ and is speaking. But the one that tripped me out was that second one where it's literally like this, like this. sideways. But if you if you heard the video, they said no crew members no crew member shouldn't be on the in the back set. Yeah. And no one that, but what, the actors. What's creeped me? What what creeped me out on the, on the last one too? You said that's the last episode, right? Yeah. And all the crew members, were out, all the actors were outside. They're yeah. all saying their goodbyes. They're all most, sitting there. All sitting there. So nobody should be in the back. The only actors. But all actors are on stage. So that, that that's pretty trippy. The the the, the first clip that that one kind of creeped me out because it's like, like it's pulling the curtain. In, you can see its face. And then it, it pulls it like it pulls it back. Like, like, oh shoot. Yeah, like like it knows it's like it's on cue or something. Like the way like the the curtain just goes back. That's kind of creepy. That that face? creeped me out. It was it was really white. All all three of them. All three yeah. shots, they're all white, pale white faces. I feel like I feel like yeah, it was white with like black eyes and like yeah, the yeah, hair yeah. like right here, uh-huh. like combed down. And they, they also said that no one ever seen it until they like looked back at the films and seen that thing. But like a couple no one ever now. turned and seen the thing. And then do you know the second one? When the one that is like this? Mm-hmm. No one did see it, no one turned on the people that were filming, the like 
the production, no they didn't see that. the figure at all. That's fucking crazy. Until they look back at the film, they they seen the thing. But I, w- I wonder one. how they saw it. Like it's like it's like that second. It's one like was, hidden. Like how do you see that? You know? Well, no, but that second one was so noticeable. Yeah, like you seen that it when they're showing the clips. So noticeable. I'm pretty sure if I would even watch it live, I would have been like, "What the fuck was that?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead ass. I would have been like, what the fuck is that? Why is that shit peaking? It's fucking bright lights, studio lights. And it's just like this. And, and, and it's, 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 it's it not moves. just like it's peaking. Like, it's like body like like that, like levitating yeah. type you, of thing. You under, you get you, you, your eye catches fucking movement all the time, bro. Your eye catches movement. Even when it's like slight movement, you, your eye catches it. That's a fucking big move that it did. It did a fucking full on. Le- like it, 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 it moved back. It closed the curtain twice, bro. That's fucking insane, dude. And not only that, I'm pretty. The actors were close to it too, so I'm pretty sure when they're like cut, they, I'm pretty sure they turn around, like moved around, and they didn't see shit. Yeah, that was scary. That one, I like that one. That, that one's I, creepy. I, I didn't know about that one. That one's pretty creepy. I knew about that one, but I just didn't know how to show it on. Cause I saw one. I saw one that was like that, like with the production, but it was with Wizard of Oz, like Wizard someone like yeah, the Hanging Wizard of Oz, like someone like hanged himself in production. Oh, in the background, huh? Yeah. Do you guys know about that whole fucking setup? The whole Wizard of Oz setup? I heard that it was, like, very stressful, no? It was very stressful, so unprofessional, and, like, very poor production. Really bad. I I didn't know that. I didn't know about that part. You know, you know, you know, like, the main, the main character, Alice? That's her name, right? Alice? I don't know. No, it's not. Is it Alice in Wonderland, right? Well, no, no, it was Wizard of Oz. Oh, (laughs) shit. Well, the Wizard of Oz, the the girl who played the, the, the main chick, she was, like, fucking young. She was, uh, underage. But she was worked like if she was an adult. Like she was worked to the core, she was, bro. She was working many hours, huh? She was working like hours, like so badly. And, like, she, she had a nine to five. And and back nah, in the bro. day, you know, back in the day, they they wanted women to look a certain part. They wanted to be they want them to be skinny. They wanted them to be like very attractive. And she was young, so you know when you're in that premature age, you're getting bigger. You know you're you're gonna you're gonna want to eat more. And, but they were starving her, bro. They would literally starve her, and she would show up to set. Almost collapsing. Right away, put her on in, in her dress. Right away, put her in makeup. Right away, put her on a set and trying to like push her to do so much when she was so underage. And, and all the cast members were fucking like the dwarves. They were bullied, constantly bullied, so constantly uh, harassed because of like you know because they're dwarves and they'll, they'll be like, oh, you're sore and stuff like that. They'll say bullshit to them, and that's why one of them in that footage you see that it was supposedly you saw a, a short or like a dwarf person was hung. Bring yourself on set, no? On set, but yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know how nobody caught that and kept that in, and and when you see it, like they try to hide it, like in the new version of like The Wizard of Oz, you can see that there's a bird now, and you're like, what the fuck? That's like so yeah, different like from in a the, bird the, from the that f- footage, like the original like movie, the original footage, you can see it, like it's hanging literally with the rope dangling, and everything dangling, it's literally dangling, like moving, like if it was hung, and people are like, no, it was a bird, it was supposed to be this, it was supposed to be that, but when they show like the new version, they put a fucking bird. And it's so fucking like it's so noticeable that it was not that. Yeah, play that shit right now. I want to see that shit. That that should remind me of that right now. But there's so much things to it. Like the tin can man, the guy who, the paint that they gave him, was like not the right paint to paint his face. So he got skin cancer from that. What the fuck, for real? Uh huh. So so pro- like I said, production was so poor. Oh, uh, let me see. I didn't know. I didn't know about this. And I guess the snow that 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 they use also, I think it caused them cancer as well. It was so yeah. fucking bad, bro. It was really bad the way they. they I really didn't know did about that. this. That's actually pretty crazy. It was pretty bad. Yeah, like that that the video you showed us. That remind me of that. That that yeah. video that they try to hide it after. That's crazy. Well, this this video is about a father and his son, and in their local town, they're having like a like a fair and they're going to ride and he's recording he's having he wants to have like a little moment where he's recording his son his son you know so he's recording his son and when they look back at the footage 
This is what they saw. Wait, go back. Do that shit again. I, I, I didn't really see what happened. Let me see. Oh, what the fuck? The first time they went around, there was nothing back there, as we can see in the beginning of the video. There's nothing. Nothing. Whoa. Completely empty. They went around the second time. Is that why he looked back? That's like, it kind of looks like he's seen, some, he's seen something. But look, it looks like a figure just sitting in the background like this. No, I don't see no fucking face. I just see like a damn. Guy that's like creepy, that. bro. That's actually creepy. It looks like, looks like death. Yeah, but like death himself. <laughs> oh! I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. He what sees something. Fuck? He keeps on looking back, bro. Yeah, he sees he it. It's gone. It's gone. It's yeah, gone. he sees it. It's he gone. sees it. It's gone. When he ends the video, there's nothing there no more. But he keeps on looking back because he sees something, bro. Look, it's gone. There's nothing. There's it's nothing gone. back. That's fucking creepy. But look at that, bro. Bro, I never seen a ghost ride a roller coaster like that. That looks weird. That's Whoa. someone back there, bro. Now, in, in the first video, you, we could have been like, oh, it just could be something. Yeah. Bro, this looks like like a whole figure. So, I'm going to tell the story that I said it before on other people's podcasts, but we haven't said it on here. Like, and for our, our audience podcast? and stuff, we haven't said it anything. But um, there's a story that happened to my dad a while back, a long time ago when he was a kid. So, when my dad was like, I think 17, 18, or 19, around his teenager years. Yeah. He moved to Fontana, and he moved to the Fontana in this house. And I remember he told me that in that house, he always felt like bad vibes. His whole family, the whole family, my grandma, him, he always felt bad vibes. He didn't feel like like bad energy, like, you know, it was just bad. And my grandma, she, she felt it too, so she noticed it. So she would go around the house praying for it, you know, blessing the house, putting oil on the wall, you know, praying over my dad, praying over his brothers and sisters, like praying for the house every day, every day, just praying for it because she felt something bad, something negative from the house. So she kept praying and praying and she did that for years. And then finally, um, they moved out of the house. They moved down to San Bernardino. And then uh, my dad found out a, a couple years later that a new family moved into the house. It was a uh, three. It was uh, three family members. It was mom a mom and a dad, dad and a daughter. And they moved into that into the house and the daughter coincidentally moved into the same room my dad was in and he found out a couple years later when they, they moved in that the girl was going through a lot like she was going through a lot of problems and stuff like that and they also said that they felt bad vibes from the house and too and then a couple years later the girl ended up killing herself in the room okay. and the parents felt like devastated it was bad it was like all over the news it was bad and my grandma said that that's what that was in in that house something in that house was trying to get us to like you know you know off ourselves you know suicidal. yeah suicidal and good thing she said good thing i was praying for my family and stuff but it was just sad like i remember my dad telling me the story i was like whoa that's that's fucking crazy and my dad said like yeah the the enemy the devil is powerful like demons are powerful like that's he said he's, he's it was just it, it, yeah. it was a sad story to tell and i was like whoa like that got me like whoa that got me thinking i was like pretty pretty fucked up sorry the demons are powerful but jesus is stronger yeah
Give but I, I heard that's like the number one way that they make you get to you through your thoughts. Yeah. Manipulation. Number one thing. Manipulation. Yeah. Through your thoughts is the enemy's the that's his the most his that's his number one weapon to try to get you mm-hmm. to hurt yourself or do those things. I remember a couple of videos back where we're talking about there's security guards that they have encounters with ghosts. Yeah. And people are like on the radio like, Hey bro, who are you talking to? It's kinda of what happened in the video. Oh, I like those. Those I are know, those are always it's, interesting. It's crazy because it happens. It happens to a lot of security guards, where they're talking to someone, and then someone that's watching through the cameras are saying, "Hey, bro, who are you talking to? Like, who are you having a conversation with?" They're like, "Well, I'm having a conversation with blah 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 blah." They're like, bro, like you're just there's no one there. Like, what are you talking about? Those are always interesting. And I'm like, I think about it like, damn, like, what would we do if something like that happened to us? Like, like be in his head yeah. like be in his mind like what is he seeing you know i'll be like, like damn like then who was like who who was like i talking to like i was like I'll, I'll start thinking a lot of stuff like do you think like i haven't had had this conversation with other people that there's no camera around that could tell me like i'm talking just to myself imagine like you're talking to like people that don't even exist that's fucking crazy people that are already dead yeah. that are not even in this world no more People think like you're fucking crazy. <laughs> People think I'm fucking and like you see the footage yeah. and you look fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I think security guard jobs are the scariest jobs ever. Night shift security night guard Night shift, bro. Working at night? It's 3 a.m. That happens to you? That's yeah, fucking that's crazy, scary. bro. I like his... I like... I, I, I like... I don't like... It's crazy how he's like... No, no, que hablas aquí estoy. Like, he's telling, like, I'm seeing someone. Like, he's like, no, bro, you're fucking tripping. Dude. That's crazy. That was he's a good video. That could, you think it only happens when they recently pass? Or they I think so, too. I think so, too. Like, that was, they were like, oh, they just passed away yesterday. Like, you're crazy. Like, this, they just passed away. Like, that, that person's not here anymore. Nah, I've seen that. Yeah, I feel like those. That's like your spirit were, like, roaming around, huh? Can I try to kind of communicate with people? Maybe. There's, there's been plenty of, of stories like that, too. There's a Where lot of people come like a, that. people come across ghosts and like take them to their house so therefore they can finally like bring the spirit back to home. Yeah. That that's happens it. a lot. That's like, crazy. Damn. This story is called the Ricky Velasquez Hernandez house. Oh. So if you guys don't know who Ricky Velasquez is, Ricky Velasquez is a YouTuber who does ghost huntings in Mexico. And all of his stuff is in Spanish because of course he's in Mexico. And particularly for his videos, he does lives. It's all live streams. They're not, they're, they're like, they're not recorded, pre-recorded, you know, they're not tampered with. They're all live streams and just uploaded. So they're usually like an hour, two hours long. And um, he visits his one house with his wife in Mexico in the middle of nowhere, where he mentions that this house was owned to a family called the Hernandez family, which who were like, a, like a, a lot of them like a lot of siblings a lot of like uh, people lived in the house and they're they're rich people as well so the house is very nice and very big made for a lot of people like i said and the place tragically had a tragic ending to it where the family had passed away every, every each every family member had passed away in the house and one day they didn't they it doesn't explain how it how it happened if it looked like maybe i can like a theory is like a, a fire or something like that or maybe uh gun violence cartel i don't know but they set out to go explore this house in the middle of not uh, in the middle of the night and uh they live stream it and they end up exploring the downstairs area and they make their way upstairs and keep in mind it's all live stream right so they start hearing knocks everywhere they start hearing moans and groans like people are, are there they hear slams like like doors slamming and like and doors opening up, and it, it was a constant thing always happening. And then they're like, okay, let's end it off. Let's uh, let's go downstairs, and they go downstairs and then they, they do the dumbest decision in my opinion ever, and they play the Ouija board. 
Oh, hell no. Nah. You don't ever do that shit. It's, it's probably the most shocked I've ever been watching a fucking video. <laughs> and how it ends off is just so fucking insane. Uh, let me just fucking show you. Cause... ¿Estás aquí con nosotros? Muérete de aquí. Muérete. Muérete. Whoa, and look at that bro. face. Whoa, that's gonna shit at me. My fucking heart sank. Give it to me. Look at this. Look at this shit, bro. It says, "Estás aquí?" Si, saying yes. Turns it to where she's at. They zoom in and they see a, a girl. That's fucking scary, bro. That scared the shit out of me. And then Start she screams screaming. at the end, too. Damn, bro. Look at That's a little oh. girl. Yo, that's not a fucking... Yo, that, that's gonna fucking give me nightmares for sure. You know what that, when I first saw that, you know what it looked like? It looked like somebody who, who was fucking dying. You know when somebody's dying and they're sick? And, and they, and, and, or like when they start dying, when they're dead? And what's that called when they're like start, uh, decomposing? That's what it looks like. It looks like a decomposed person. Dude, that's, that's actually pretty, I'm gonna get nightmares from that shit for sure. That image right there. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share this video, and make sure you follow us on TikTok and Instagram. And make sure you watch our Spotify and watch our Patreon. I fucked up again, but fuck it. I'm going to leave that shit in. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to our Spotify and watch our Patreon. Yeah. And, and stay tuned for the next Scary Shit episode. And, and keep your heads up. We have a big announcement coming soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have a big announcement. Big announcement yeah. coming soon. Something for the summer y'all could wear. Somebody. We, we, we've been gone for a minute, but we back, boys. We're going to no let worry. you know. It's a little drippy. It's a little <laughs> swaggy. If you want some fucking swag, it's going to come. Just know you're going to have a nice outfit for the summer. That's all I got to say. El verano. Sin ti. Facts. God bless y'all. Have a good night. God loves you. We're dropping merch, by the way. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>